And our first talk uh, is a paper uh, by Tim Lambert and Anderson Nak Nakato. And the talk will be given by Tim and it'll be recorded. Welcome to our talk on deciding simple infinity axiom sets with one binary relation by means of superpostulates, which is joint work by Anderson Nakano and me, Tim Lampert. We will first introduce the aim of our paper, namely to automatically generate complete infinity axiom sets. We then shortly present the theory of dense linear order as a complete infinity axiom set to start with. We will go on to explain presumptions of our algorithm before we present it. Finally, we give an outlook for further work to be done. The aim of our paper is to automatically generate complete infinity axiom sets of first order logic with only one binary relation. FOLR for short. FOLR is a well-known reduction class for the satisfiability problem. We want to keep things as simple as possible. That is why we abstain from identity, function symbols, and all relations except one binary relation. Infinity axiom sets are finite sets of antiprenix forms, which are only satisfiable in an infinite domain. And then an axiom set A of FOLR is complete if for any FOLR formula B, either B or non-B follows from A. It is by no means easy to determine infinity axiom sets, not to say complete infinity axiom sets. There are only a very few infinity axiom sets in the TPTP library. The TPTP engines widely fail to decide them even when they are very simple. Since the infinity axiom sets are satisfiable, semi-deciders that find proofs of refutation might not terminate. And since infinity axiom sets are only satisfiable in an infinite domain, model finders checking finite models won't find a model. So if there is a general way to decide infinity axioms, the method of Saturation, which may decide satisfiability by exhaustive application of the rules of a complete calculus, seems to be most promising. The algorithms implemented in the TPTP engines, however, are not trimmed to cope with infinity axiom sets. One exception is the engine Infinox, which decides the finite unsatisfiability of some relevant TPTP problems due to specific model theoretic principles. In contrast to Infinox, we investigate how to generate hitherto unknown infinity axiom sets of FOLR. Although the generated infinity axiom sets are rather short, they are hard problems to solve. We want to specify an algorithm to generate complete infinity axiom sets in order first to decide infinity axiom sets second, to challenge TPTP engines and, in particular, saturation algorithms, and third, to study infinity axiom sets systematically. Our algorithm needs some complete infinity axiom set of FOL to start with. In our paper, we establish a reduction of the dense linear order axiom set with identity, known as DLOO, to FOLR, DLOR for short. Formula one presents our reduction of DLO to DLOR. We have the axiom of irreflexivity, the axioms for no endpoints, two axioms for transitivity, namely of R and of non-R, and the axiom of density. The axiom for transitivity of non-R replaces trichotomy of DLO with identity. In our paper, we prove proposition one, DLOR is a complete infinity axiom set of FOLR, and we prove proposition two, an infinite number of infinity axiom sets follow from DLOR. In consequence of proposition two, we can decide an infinite number of infinity axiom sets by proving that they follow from DLOR which proves that they are satisfiable as well. 
we want to generalize this method of proving satisfiability of infinity axiom sets by generating a database of complete infinity axiom sets. So our question is how to generate complete infinity axiom sets from a complete infinity axiom set. Two rules are plain from considering bijections between models. Rule one, exchange all negated literals for non-negated literals and all non-negated literals for negated literals. Rule two, exchange the variables in, in possible exchange the variables in positions one and two in all atomic propositional functions. However, this yields only one further infinity axiom set in the case of DLOR, namely formula two. So some additional rule is needed to produce non-trivial further infinity axiom sets. We start with the following observation. Replacing axiom two or axiom three of DLOR by their negation yields another complete theory. So one might propose the following rule, replace an axiom by its negation. However, replacing axiom one by its negation, there is an x1, r, x1, x1, does not yield a complete theory. The formulas in three are further independent axioms. This motivates the following idea of a third rule. Replace an axiom by its negation and add further independent axioms to complete the axiom set. So the problem is how to specify further independent axioms to complete the axiom set. We solve this problem by the following two devices. First, specify axioms A prime that are strictly implied by axiom A as further axioms to complete the axiom set that you get from replacing A with non-A and S. Second, set an upper bound of length L for which completeness is preserved. Due to our second device, we modify our ambitious aim to preserve completeness in our algorithm and replace it by the weaker aim to preserve completeness of axiom sets up to specific lengths L. So let us define L completeness as follows. An axiom set A of length less or equal L is L complete in FOLR if for any FOLR formula V of less or equal length L, either B or non-B follows from A. We define our term superpostulate by referring to L completeness. A superpostulate is a minimal and consistent set of independent axioms that is L complete. That the superpostulate is minimal means that it does not contain any redundant part. We set an upper bound of thousand characters. To compare, DLOR has 331 characters. So our aim became to solve the following problem. Specify an algorithm to generate infinity superpostulates with no more than 1,000 characters. The restriction of axiom sets with no more than 1,000 characters allows us to make use of the following assumption. If one of the following cases holds, this is proven by the standard cask mode of Vampire within a time limit of 300 seconds. First, a considered part of a considered axiom set is redundant. Second, a considered axiom set is inconsistent. Or third, the considered axiom set is implied by another considered axiom set. Or fourth, the considered axiom set implies the infinity axiom set four or the infinity axiom set five. The infinity axiom sets mentioned in item four are very weak. Formula four is implied by axiom one, axiom two, and axiom four of DLOR. Formula five is the counterpart part of formula four resulting from applying our rule two to formula four. Item four ensures that considered axiom sets are not satisfiable in the finite domain. 
So if no proof is found by Vampire within 300 seconds, we assume a negative solution. In short, as long as we do not extend formulas with lengths greater than 1,000 characters, we decide questions that need to be decided to generate further superpostulates by running one power. The reliability of this assumption is based on extensive experience. But, of course, it is not a logical theorem, and so it may induce that an axiom set that we generate is, in fact, not an infinity axiom set, but refutable. However, this is unlikely, since if the problem to be solved has a positive solution, Vampire usually finds it, an almost immediate, finds it almost immediately given the length of the formulas. According to our first device, we have to specify axioms A prime implied by A before replacing A by its negation. To do so without generating axioms A prime with increasing lengths that rapidly will ex exceed our upper bound of 1000 characters, we make use of an incomplete calculus. Let S prime be the set of axioms that results from replacing A in S by axioms implied by A. Then our problem is to specify axioms A prime such that S implies S prime, but S prime does not imply S. So S strictly implies S prime and S prime is strictly weaker than S. We solve this problem by making use of an incomplete calculus without rules such as A implies A and A or A implies A or A that increase complexity. So we only use quantifier rules, rules, namely rules for exchanging quantifiers, one rule for exchanging quantifiers, and two rules to eliminate universal quantifiers and two rules to introduce existential quantifiers. To generate a new superpostulate S prime prime from a given superpostulate S, we specify axioms A prime by non-redundant by non-redundant applications of the quantifier rules. An application of a quantifier rule to an axiom A of an axiom set S resulting in A prime is non-redundant if A prime is independent of S without A and S prime is strictly weaker than S. To generate a new superpostulate S prime prime from S, we complete S without A by non-A plus the set a star of all alternative non-redundant applications of our quantifier rules to axiom A. Since we make use of an incomplete calculus, there may be infinity superpostulates with less than 1000 characters that imply infinity axiom sets we generate. So we only claim that our algorithm approximates the generation of infinity superpostulates. This further weakening serves the same purpose as the restriction to L completeness, namely to weaken our aim in order to make it achievable. We are interested in a practical algorithm, and for this sake, we already gave up the aim to generate complete axiom sets in an unrestricted sense. Based on the presumptions of L completeness and non redundant applications of our quantifier rules, we can now specify the rule to generate a new superpostulate S prime prime from a superpostulate S. Generate S prime prime from S, which includes A as follows. Specify the set A star of all non-redundant applications of the quantifier rules to A. Second, delete A and S, unify the remaining axioms with A star and denote the result by S prime. Third, Delete redundant axioms and sub-expressions in S prime, checked by running vampire. Fourth, if the union of S prime with the negation normal form of non-A is fewer than thousand characters, consistent implies either the very weak infinity axiom set four or the very weak infinity axiom set five, and non-A is independent of S prime, all checked by running vampire. Then our new infinity superpostulate S prime prime is identical with S prime unified with the negative normal form of non-A.
So we can define our rule three as follows. Starting from a complete superpostulate, generate infinity superpostulates by iteratively applying algorithm one to all axioms of all generated superpostulates until no further superpostulates are generated. We make the following restriction to ensure that the generated superpostulates are independent. Delete superpostulates if they are implied by previously generated superpostulates. We generate a set ST of superpostulates by starting with a given complete theory such as DLOR and set the random variable I to one. Then apply algorithm one to all axioms of the ith member of ST. The result is S star star. Delete members of S star star implied by members of ST. The result is S star star star. Then unify the set ST of the so far generated superpostulates with S star star star. Then we increase i by one if i is less the length of the so far generated set of superpostulates st. Otherwise we stop because no further superpostulate can be generated from our so far generated superpostulates. We generated 732 infinity superpostulates starting from DLOR in 1000 hours runtime. Additionally, applying rule one and two resulted in 2,196 infinity superpostulates. Furthermore, we generated a total number of 156 infinity superpostulates starting from THSR in 200 hours runtime. THSR is our reduction of the complete theory of immediate successor to FOLR as stated in six. Thus, so far, we generated two systems of infinity superpostulates. In our future work, we intend to first study further systems of infinity axiom sets by considering the following question. One, how to preserve completeness and not merely L-completeness? Given a complete calculus to specify further axioms to add in addition to non-A, may it then happen that there is no upper bound from completing an infinity axiom set? Two, do systems generated from different complete theories intersect? And three, how to relate infinity axiom sets or hard problems to a database of superpostulates? Furthermore, we intend to, second, develop refinements of saturation algorithms to decide infinity action sets. Thank you very much for your attention and we are now looking forward to your questions and comments. So, uh, any questions? Let me see, I, no one's raised their hand yet. And I don't see any in the question and answer section. Uh, let me ask a question in, in the meantime. Um, is one of the goals, I mean, one of the consequences of this work is that you can start to populate the TPTP library with more axiom sets for infinity? Is that one of the um, things you, you hope to do? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> But uh, okay, another second, more serious question. Um, how likely are there sort of significant relationships between the models for these different, uh, that given um, different uh, axiom sets? Uh, for example, uh, will you have uh, symmetries between uh, models or would one be a subsequence of another sequence? Like the even numbers are a subsequence of the natural numbers. Are these interesting things, so in a, the, if that happens, then you could argue they're not so different, these uh, post super postulates. Yeah, well, this 
maybe one of the questions we want to investigate. Um, but our first aim is to, to generate uh, infinity axiom sets or super postulates uh, by an algorithm. So without considering um, model theoretic questions. And after having done that, we one can of course uh, relate this to model theoretic questions. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, let me just ask another quick one. Uh, 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 vampire. Why is it so useful in this domain? Did you have to um, do anything special to tune it, or is it just very good on domains where there is no, say, function symbols per se? Well, we, we just um, use it because of uh, practical experience and because uh, it wins um, the competitions. Um, but uh, this does not mean that um, in some cases, other engines won't do better. Um, mm -hmm. But we, we just used it uh, as our practical decision. OK, yeah, yeah. that's quite interesting. It works so well this way. Any other questions out there? So I'm looking at the attendees list and the question and answer section. So if I'm missing something, I guess. Uh, any questions? Otherwise, uh, let's uh, thank the speaker. Thank you very much.